What's up everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to my channel and just like the title of this video suggests, I sold all of my VV collectibles. Let's get into this. So the time has come finally after being on the platform for four months and having a major run up in the price of collectibles on the aftermarket through December into January and really skyrocketing by the mid January mark into early February. We hit a point sometime in February where things just started to take a downward spiral and it hasn't stopped. It's been about a month now of just this downward trend. And I had collectibles in my vault at the time where we were going on this downward spiral and I wanted to liquidate because I saw them going down, down in price and having them reach a point where they were 100, 150%, even in some cases 200% more than what I purchased them for. I figured it was a good time to liquidate. But having said that, I couldn't get them off my hands. That price just kept on going down further and further to a point where I was a little bit uncomfortable with liquidating them at, even though I would have got them off at a profit. So instead of getting rid of some of my collectibles, what I did was I decided to load up more gems into the platform and purchase other collectibles that I've had my eye on over a period of time to try to buy the dip and to get in at good prices at the time what I thought with these collectibles. But lo and behold, what we've got is this continuation of this downward trend in the prices in the aftermarket, and it just hasn't stopped. And I'm trying to think about catalysts that will come up for Vivi that will cause this trend to stop. What are we waiting for? What is going to happen for this to stop and to, for us to see an upward trend of our collectibles? And obviously, I think the biggest thing about this all is, is the MTL, the money transfer license coming into play and people are going to be able to withdraw their gems in fiat currency form. This is a major reason why we're seeing this downtrend. And even though gems are coming onto the platform, we still have a lot of gems that have been accumulated on the platform that are just being held in wallets or are finally being withdrawn from the platform, whatever that might look like. But it's evident that this MTL rollout is going to take some time. I would assume at least six months for everybody to be able to have the MTL and to be able to have the opportunity to withdraw their gems. And until that's fully rolled out, until everybody has had a chance to withdraw the gems that they want to get off of the platform, I just don't see this downward trend stopping. And I've hit a point where I'm not willing to put any more gems into the platform at this current point in time, just based on what I've put into the platform. And like I always recommend, not putting in more money than you're willing to actually lose because at the grand scheme of things, we just don't know what's going to happen to Vivi in the long term. And though I am very bullish on Vivi, I have a great outlook for what the company holds and what our collectibles hold. It's just important to note that anything can go to zero with the right catalysts going wrong for that company. So it's always good advice that when you're investing in something so speculative like NFTs, like digital collectibles, you just don't know what could happen in the future of that company and you just don't know in the early stages of the company what can happen. So I'm actually taking my own advice here and I've hit a point where I'm not putting any more gems in but I also hit a point where I need gems to be able to go for more drops especially if we get some good announcements coming up for drops. So I'm at a point where I'm not willing to put in any more gems to the platform but I need gems. And this brings me to a risky move that I'm going to do. And ultimately it's all for fun. I see this as being a risky move and trying to time the market, but I also see it as something that I'm gonna have fun with and do for my own entertainment and to see what I can do to flip my collectibles and to bring more gems into my account without having to load up more gems. So it's important to note that this is more so for entertainment for me because without gems in my wallet, I'm really not able to do much in the platform other than go for drops when they come up without having the gems to go for larger drops, like in the 60 gems and up range, like I'm really depleted on gems here because I've been buying the dip for so long and it just keeps dipping. I've gotten to a point where I just don't have any more gems. So so 
I'm left with this decision and I've sold all of my collectibles. I've kept some comics. I'm not going to really talk about comics here, but my collectibles are all gone or at least they're on the market to go. And I've sold all but actually one. The Iron Man, my Iron Man golden moment will not leave my vault. I have no intention of selling that one. That's gonna stay in my vault. But all of the other ones have been listed and they're ready to be sold or they're selling right now. And my plan with this is that I see the demand staying flat for collectibles for the foreseeable future here. And with that demand being flat and the supply actually going down for a lot of collectibles, you would think that prices would continue to rise with that or at least stay steady for some point of time, but they just aren't. They seem to be falling down further than I'd ever even expected them to. And what we saw with this last Pixar drop is that we still experienced a small gem squeeze leading up to the drop. And shortly after that, prices begin to rise and you hit a point where it's a good time to, if you are thinking about it, sell your collectibles and realize any profits that you have. But then when another big drop comes up, we're gonna experience that same gem squeeze and we're gonna go through these cycles. So I've hit a point in time with my collectibles where even though I'm selling a lot of them at a loss, I think, and my theory is, that there's gonna be more exciting news in terms of drops coming up for Vivi on weekends, which we have been typically seeing as of late. And I'm going to try to time the market. And I don't give this advice for you to do. Like I said, I'm telling you the reason why I'm doing this, but essentially I'm going to sell my collectibles now and try to get in on them after an announcement and leading up to a drop at a lesser price than what I actually sold them for. So even though I'm selling them at a loss, I'm still getting them in at a lower price than what I sold them for. And that's the gems that I'm going to hold on to for future drops. This is how I'm going to accumulate gems somehow. I don't think that this is going to work for every single collectible that I do, but I also don't think that we're out of the woods just yet with this dip in collectible prices. I think this is going to continue for at least as long as the majority of people haven't had the MTL roll out to them, the chance for them to withdraw gems. And I'm sure we're in for some big news when it comes to drops and the gem squeezes that will happen with those big announcements. Just because I think that Vivi really needs that at this point in time, being the way the market has been going and the sentiment around Vivi for the last few weeks here, that I've been seeing online. I think they need some big announcements here and I'm sure that they're going to deliver on these and the gem squeezes, I am pretty sure will not stop. But with big announcements comes lots more users into the system and a lot more gems into the system, which means after a drop, those gems have to go somewhere. And this is where I will again, repeat the cycle of selling when the prices have gone up a little bit and buying back leading up to a big drop during that gem squeeze into my positions. Now this is completely risky. This is completely speculative. As I said, I actually need the prices to drop 8.5% for most of my collectibles for me to actually get in at a good price. That's quite a bit for them to drop 8.5% is a little bit risky and it's a little bit tough. And I'm hoping that we are getting some big drops to cause those gem squeezes for me to get back in on my collectibles at a lower rate. That's the game plan, that's the hope. Like I said, this is more for entertainment value for me because right now I'm not willing to load up any more gems than I've already have onto the platform. And this is really the only way for me to accumulate more gems on the platform, some entertainment value, and I'm gonna keep you updated with this, how this is going, and what I sold my collectible for, what I originally purchased them at, what I sold them for, and then when I get back in on them, what that difference was that allows me to either pocket the gems or even lose out on collectibles. This is a risky play, and I hope you follow along with this, with all of the updates that I'm gonna be providing you with on this. If you want to follow along, a subscribe goes a long way for me with this channel and for you to be able to comment below what you think of my game plan as well as what you are doing during this time with your collectibles. Comment below and like this video if you want more VV content from me. Thank you so much for watching.